this class we work out two problems in per unit representation problem number one for the system shown in figure draw the reactance diagram that's the question the system consists of 12 components three generators one two three six transformers one two three four five six three transmission line one two three Rating of generator 1 is 50 MBA, 11 kV, per unit reactance is 0.14. This generator rating is 20 MBA, 11 kV, per unit reactance is 0.1. This generator is 30 MBA, 11 kV, J0.16 per unit. These two transformer rating is 30 MBA, 11 bar 66, per unit reactance is 0.15. These two transformers is 30 MBA, 11 bar 66, per unit reactance is 0.15. These two transformer rating is 15 MBA, 11 bar 66, per unit reactance is 0.1. This transmission line actual impedance value is J120, this is J100, this is J50. So all the values are in per unit, but the transmission values are in ohms. First step. Mark the components 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Second step. Choose base MBA. Base MBA is equal to 50. I choose 50. You may choose 100 or 30. No problem. Base KV is equal to 11. I choose 11. Here the transmission voltage is 66. Here also 66. Here also 66. Transmission voltage is 66. The next is I have to choose low voltage KV base. Low voltage KV base is equal to high voltage KV base into Low voltage rating divided by high voltage rating. LT by HT. That is equal to 66 into 11 by 66. That is equal to 11. The chosen values are in green color. Given values are in red color. Chosen base KV values are in blue color. I use three colors. So this is 11 KV. High voltage KV base is equal to low voltage KV base into HT by LT. 11 into 66 by 11. That is equal to 66. That's why I marked in bulk. This is 11 kV, this is 66 kV, this is 11, this is 11, this is 66, this is 11, this is 66, this is 11. Please understand the problem. The next is, I have to find the base impedance. Base impedance is equal to kVb square divided by Sb. Here the values are in actual values in ohms. kVb square by Sb, that is equal to 66 square by 50, that is equal to 87.12 base impedance is 87.12 once I know the base impedance I can easily calculate the per unit impedance per unit impedance is equal to actual by base given value by base value first generator 1 a given value is 0.14 into VB1 by VB2 VB1 is a given value VB2 is a chosen value. 11 by 11 the whole square into SB2. SB2 is a chosen value. SB1 is a given value. 50 by 50. That is equal to J.14 per unit. This is J.14 per unit. In the reactance diagram I mentioned. Second is a transformer. Here the, these two transformer ratings are same. Therefore, 2 and 12 reactance value is same. Here, given value is 0.15 into 11 by 11. 11 by 11 the whole square into 50 by 30. That is equal to J.25 per unit. The third is a transmission line. I know the base impedance. Actually, it is 120. 120 by 87.12. That is equal to J.137 per unit. This is J1.37 per unit. The next is trans uh, transformer. Here the value is 0.15 into 
66 by 66 the whole square into 50 by 30 that is equal to j.25 per unit here the fourth component and sixth component values are same j.25 here j.25 this is j.25 here also j.25 j.25 the next is a generator given value is 0.16 0.16 into 11 by 11 the whole square into 50 by 30 that is equal to j.27 per unit this is j.27 per unit the next is transformer this radius this transformer is 0 0.15 0 0.15 into 11 by 11 the whole square into 50 by 30 that is equal to 0.25 this is 0.25 the next is a transmission line 100 value given zb is equal to 100 zb is equal to 87.12 j.15 per unit this is j.15 per unit and this transformer these two transformer values are same Therefore, point one into 50, that is 66 by 66 the whole square into 50 by 15, that is equal to J.33 per unit, these two transformers. So, this is J.33, this also J.33. This generator, point one into 11 by 11 the whole square into 50 by 20, that is equal to J.25 per unit. The next is 10th component. Transformer, as we found, the value will, will be same. 11th component, the per unit reactance, we have to find 50 by 87.12, that is equal to J.57 per unit. This is J.57 per unit. So, this transformer value is also same. This is J.25. So, this is the way we have to work out. This is the reactance diagram. All values are in per unit. Problem number two, for the system shown in figure, determine the generator voltage, that is the question. The system consists of four components, one generator, one transformer, transmission line, resistive load. Generator rating is 50 MeA, 15 KV, per unit reactance is 0.2. The second is transformer, rating is 50 MeA, 11 kV bar 132 kV, per unit reactance is 0.1. The third is transmission line, its reactance is J100 ohms per phase. Fourth is resistive load, its value is 500 ohms. First step, we have to choose base MeA, base kV. Base MBA is equal to 50, base KV is equal to 11. I choose the low voltage side. High voltage KV base is equal to low voltage KV base into HT rating by LT rating. Low voltage KV base is 11, HT rating is 132, LT rating is 11. 11 into 132 by 11, that is equal to 132 KV. Here I used three colors. Given values are in red color. Chosen values are in green color. New base KV values are in blue color. First I have to find the per unit reactance of the generator. That is equal to given per unit reactance 0.2 into VB1 by VB2, 15 by 11, the whole square into SB2 by SB1, 50 by 50. That is equal to J.372. Second is transformer. Reactance value is 0.1 into 11 by 11, the whole square into 50 by 50. That is equal to J.1 per unit. Third is a transmission line reactance. Here all the values are not in per unit. These two values are in per unit. These two values are in ohms. Therefore, I have to convert into per unit. 
first step i have to find the base reactants that is kb base square divided by mea base this is 132 transmission voltage is 132 kb this is a new value 132 square divided by 50 that is equal to 348.48 that is a base reactants per unit reactants of the transmission line is actual value by base value actual is given 100 100 by 348.48 that is equal to j.287 or straight away i can find the per unit reactants of the transmission line using this formula actual value is 100 into mea base divided by kv base square 50 divided by 132 square that is equal to j.287 either you can use this method or straight away you can calculate the per unit reactants of the transmission line for this resistive load resistance per unit is equal to given value 500 into 50 divided by 132 square resistance per unit is equal to 1.435 second is i have to find the voltage per unit this bus voltage is 132 base is 132 per unit value is equal to actual by base 132 by 132 that is equal to 1 voltage per unit is equal to 1 i know the voltage i know the resistance i can easily find calculate the current i per unit that is equal to v per unit divided by r per unit 1 by 1.435 that is equal to 0.697 If I use a reference phase, or I is equal to 0.697 angle zero degree. This is the reactance diagram. Here all the components are connected in series. In series, circuit current is constant. In parallel circuit voltage is constant. Here all are connected in series. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law, I can calculate the voltage drop. This voltage drop plus this voltage is the generator voltage. right so voltage drop per unit is equal to i per unit into x per unit the x per unit is nothing but 0.372 plus 0.10 plus 0.287 that is equal to 0.529 so 0.697 into the total that will become 0.529 0.529 is the voltage drop in the three elements plus the bus voltage that is the generator voltage 1 plus 0.529 that is equal to 1.529 per unit i want to find the actual value i know the base value base is 11 per unit value is 1.529 per unit value into base value that you will get the actual value so actual is 1.529 into 11 That is equal to 16.82 kV. That is a line-to-line -line voltage. Generator voltage per phase is equal to 16.82 divided by root 3. That is equal to 9.71 kV. That is the generator voltage. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.